Well, the story is mainly about Elsa and Anna, the two sisters. And Elsa has a secret that she's dying to keep that makes her scared every day. This power that she has to freeze things that she can't control. On the day that Elsa, my character, is being coronated queen, she is um, terrified that somehow her nerves or her, you know, emotions will will come out of her hands and 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 sh and everyone will know her secret. What did I ever do to you? Enough, Anna. No, why? Why do you shut me out? Why, why do you shut the world out? What are you so afraid of? I said enough! Sorcery. I knew there was something dubious going on here. Elsa. We come to learn that there's a beauty to her powers, but... There's also a danger, and she's terrified of hurting the people that she loves. She's forced to go out into the world that she has no idea about, and she's running into um, confusing situations uh, and handling them as best she can, as a girl would, and she's also running into a very goofy character, some that help her, some that don't, but she uh, meets a reindeer along the way, um, she meets a, a sort of gruff mountain man, she meets a snowman, and um, they all kind of play into uh, helping her find her sister. Kristoff is an interesting guy because he was raised by trolls and lives in the wilderness, and so he doesn't have a lot of social graces, and he's not great with people, and he's sort of charming, but he doesn't realize that he's charming because he spent so much of his time alone. I play a character named Olaf, who is a snowman who loves to hug people. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Olaf? That's right, Olaf. And you are? Uh, um, I'm Anna. And who's the funky looking donkey over there? That's Sven. Uh-huh, and who's the reindeer? Sven. Oh, they're, oh, okay. Make things easier for me. <laughs> you know, I love the idea of playing these naive characters like, like Olaf because there's something about that youthful innocence where you can go all the way. It, the, your sandbox, your, your play box is endless with that kind of character. Kristoff has this uh, pet reindeer, Sven, and Sven doesn't talk. He's, it's not that thing. He's not an animal that talks. Kristoff talks for Sven, so there's, it's slightly psychotic and hopefully humorous. Hans is a prince. He is a Disney prince, but he's more than a Disney prince. He's many things, and there are a lot of secrets and uh, twists and turns that we take with Hans. Duke of Wesselton's voice is just annoying. I mean, he's always he's, he's conniving, you know. He's got that kind of, he's figuring things out. And then when things go wrong, he becomes the voice of irrational fear. One of the most awkward things in, in being a part of this process is that you always have a video camera on you at all times because they want to see what Kristen's doing with her face or with her hands and um, I talk a lot with my hands and so initially my first session I was very self-conscious and then they were like no loosen up we want to see what you do so um, in the little bits I've seen Anna um, definitely uh, has a lot more facial expressions uh, than a normal Disney princess, and she she's a lot more like me. What are they? Wolves. Wolves? What do we do? I got this. You just don't fall off and don't get eaten. But I want to help. No. Why not? Because I don't trust your judgment. Excuse me? Who marries a man she just met? It's true love! Whoa! Well, the cast is amazing. I mean, they're, they have great talents. I stand in their shadow, because uh, they can not only act, they're very funny. Josh Gad and I worked on a cartoon a while ago, and he's always, I've always been amazed at his ability, but he, he can also sing. And Adina Menzel, of course she can sing, you know that, and, and they all can. I love the song Let It, Let it Go, because um, it, it's larger than just the character. You know, it really speaks to to anyone, it's not just women, you know, 
it, it speaks to anyone that's holding something back from holding back something that makes them special and unique from from the world. I think that Frozen has all the touchstones of all the great animated movies of yesteryear. It's got the relationships. It's got the lovable characters. It's got the incredible adventure, the daring journey. It's got the... Um, it's got those elements that will surprise you, that may shock you. And it's also got this sense of joy and this sense of absolute beauty and splendor to the just the art and the architecture of this world that is, I think, quite unique. The movie is gorgeous. I mean, it looks fantastic. Uh, I was joking around with them. It looks like more real than a video game, almost like you're watching... I mean, the, some of the drawings, some of the images are breathtaking. It's funny, it's romantic, it's high adventure, it's top talent voicing it. And then it's a story truly, I think, that hasn't been told yet about two sisters. And I think they also in this movie redefine what true love is. I don't know that I've ever seen the world of snow and the world of um, this kind of thing explored before. And so I'm excited about it. It feels like a throwback, but in a new way.